act like you never left BDA, man. And this chapter of One Piece was amazing, I would say. First, quickly, let me talk about the One Piece film Gold. We don't know much about it, and it's called One Piece Film Gold, new film. Film, that's all we know right now, and that's that's that um, with the movie. But to the chapter now, it was a lot happening. Okay, we had a live reaction, I'll put it here. You can check out the live reactions. A group live reaction, different, and it's very exciting. I enjoyed it a lot. But for the chapter, we got to see the Duke of the Night. Nekamamushi, I believe his name is. And this guy is a beast. But before that, we see some of the Duke and interactions between Luffy and the crew. And this guy, we got a Shanks name drop, right? Because the Duke said he used to sail on the seas with that thing. He's referencing the Duke of the Night, Nekamamushi. And... He's basically saying that, yo, that straw hat looks good on you. Where have we heard that before? He basically said to Luffy, that straw hat looks good on you. And I, I met this guy on the seas. His name was Shanks. He wore the same straw hat. And he's one of the hot shot Yonkos now. So that was a cool moment. And I got really hype off that. Any Shanks name drop, I'm feeling it. So we get some more insight, right? And because at 6 o'clock, this guy just fell asleep. And we find out that, you know, we knew that they had the Duke of the Day and Duke of the Night. But we weren't sure how it all worked. But basically, 6 o'clock, the Duke of the Day fall, falls asleep. Um, his nurses fell asleep. And pretty much all of those guys, it's like their body is programmed now to fall asleep at that time. And because they were about to get into the Shank stuff, and that's older trolling again. Where it's like he's about to tell us more, and he falls asleep. So that was like, okay. One of the best things that happened is like right after that, we went into the flashback of exactly what happened, you know, before the straw has got there when Jack and Bay Donna. Now, Jack at this moment, he's not looking too good, okay? Because he swung at the Duke, because the Duke is looking like a monster right now. He came out with his armor, and they were going at it. And then the Duke put down his sword and basically said, yo, let's talk it out. We don't have anything here. Our, our country has a lot of history. Let's just work it out. Jack just swung at him, and he casually blocked it, which was dope. But I mean, while they're fighting, the time, it was like a time limit. It, it came to the time for the, the Duke, because his, his squad is called the Musketeers. We saw Wanda and Carrot, they're part of that as well. So that was really cool seeing the Musketeers, and they're like the day fighters. But the time had come, is like 6 p.m. at night, 6 p.m. in the evening, and now it was time for the, the Duke of Night. And this guy, um, uh, Dogupine, which is the name of the, the Duke of the Day, he says the moron of the night has awakened. And they, they expected, well, the people, the Musketeer squad, kind of expected to fight with them but he was like nah let's not fight with them right now our priority is kind of maintaining our stamina so that we can fight after they're done so they kind of fall back and this this duke of the night night man it's basically like a tiger cat ish thing and he has his guardians his squad is called the guardian squad and listen man these guys are some monsters yo because they just straight come out of nowhere and attack jack but the, the um Nekamamushi, he goes straight for the juggler because he didn't even wait for Jack to say anything. He just goes for it and he slams Jack. And we also find out that this guy, Jack, man, he has a bounty of one billion. That's the most that we've seen so far. We know Dragon has the highest bounty. Like he's the world's most dangerous man. He has the highest bounty. But as far as what we've seen, as far as like confirmed and the amount that's been confirmed, he has the highest bounty, one billion. And then, you know, everyone is kind of shitting on jack because they're like yo this guy is disappointing though he's probably strong but i'm just like yo 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 let's give him some time yo let's just wait and see what happens then we can make our assessment all jack has been doing is swinging his trunk around and i don't think that's the extent of his abilities this guy's a calamity for a reason so i'm just saying let's give him some time for him to redeem himself because he got owned by the duke of the day well he just you know casually blocked it and he kind of got slammed by nekamamushi the duke of the night but this chapter, man, he's going on break next week, which is sad. And it was just saddening for me because this is like, yo, I feel like we just came off of a break, I think like two weeks ago or a week ago. I, I, it just happened and it's, it's happening again. So um, this chapter had a lot of things, man. Like we saw uh, this random guy behind Jack. <laughs> Um, when he was, when I think when, when the bounty was mentioned, and, we, and for a while we thought that was like Doflamingo controlling him because he, the person didn't have any glasses on and all that stuff. But listen, the thing with Jack right now, it, he hasn't shown anything, and we, we can't write this guy off this early. Right, we can't do that. Let's give it some time. This guy will bounce back. He's a 1 billion berry bounty. And I don't think that's just for show. I don't think this is a PK buggy situation. This is this is the guy that's 
Kaido's one of Kaido's closest associates, so he will bounce back. All right, um, it was a really good chapter. I know some people didn't really enjoy it because they felt like it was kind of another setup chapter, but we got a lot of information and we saw a lot of great stuff. It's like just seeing the, the, the finding out the relationship between um, Dog Doggy Pine and Nekomamushi that was interesting because they really don't like each other, but they used to sail together. So it's like, were they pirates? Were they on someone's crew? Were because I doubt that you know one of them was a captain because it just seems like they could they can't work like that maybe they were second and third on a, on a on a crew and someone was their captain so that that brings into question like who was who who could they have possibly been sailing with so that's another interesting question but i enjoyed this chapter a lot man i can't wait to see because jack looked like he's about to transform or he did transform already to his regular form and he's about to go in now we remember that with the um i will have a discussion about this once the official translations come out on um Weekly shown a jump, which would be 12-7. Um, I will do a discussion based on those official translations. That that's how it's gonna be going forward. I won't make these discussions off of you know these um translations because more often than not, they're not accurate in everything that they're saying, and it's like we can make like <laughs> wrong interpretations and predictions off that. So let's just, you know, we're going to do that going forward. But yeah, let me know what you thought about the chapter. I thought it was pretty dope. Uh, I, I enjoyed just the, the relationship between Doggy Pine and Nakamamushi. It's interesting. It's like, what caused that huge rift? I know it's like as simple as, well, I'm a dog. Uh, he's a cat. But I feel like it was more to it than that. Maybe they're on the same ship. Maybe um, Doggy Pine was the captain. He was the vice captain. He didn't like working on him. You know, it's so many theories out there. But just let me know what you think about, thought about the chapter. And like the video if you did. Um, don't forget to subscribe as well. That'd be dope. Have a good day, people.